<laughs> Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to a different kind of video that I've never made before. So recently, and by recently I mean like a month ago, I had a live stream where I played Wizard 101 and I played through the first world of the game, which is called Wizard City. I did this in a live stream and a few people watched me. I think the peak was like eight people, maybe? I don't know. I'm not that big of a guy. People don't really watch my streams too often, especially when they're not scratch related, but you know, that's to be expected. But uh, I thought people don't always want to watch a, uh, what was it like? Oh my God, that's a long stream. Oh my goodness, it's like three and a half hours. My goodness. But a lot of people don't want to watch that. So I thought, hey, what if I just shorten it down into a video and we go over the highlights? So joining me today, we have Coach. Uh, Coach, say hello. He will be doing the editing for this beast of a video, so definitely go down in the comments and thank him. Also, while you're down there, you might as well just subscribe to the channel. It's, like, really easy. But, yeah. So, Coach, if you're ready, we'll hop right into it. Let's start the Wizard 101 Wizard City story. So, I started my quest as a wizard by cheating through the entrance exams and choosing a fire wizard to be... I talked to the crotchety old man, and he told me to go to Unicorn Way. When I got to Unicorn Way, some old soldier with a big spear told me to go stab some ghosts. The ghosts tried to fight back, but they were no match for my amazing powers. Then I was told to talk to a boy named Saren Nightchant. After talking to Saren Nightchant, he told me to go have a conversation with big giant woman named Lady Oriole in the hedge maze. The big lady told me that a bunch of pixies were being trapped in cages and to go free them. After freeing the fairies, I then had to destroy some more fairies in the combat zone. The fairies fought hard, but they perished at my will. Then I opened some more cages and went back to talk to big lady. The big old lady said I did a good job. Then I went back to talk to Sarah Nightchant once again. Saren Nightchant told me that a big boss boy named Rattlebones was hiding up in a tower like a little sissy baby. I walked into his tower and while he was speaking to me I interrupted him by starting a fight. He fought long and hard but I still managed to overcome the situation and blast him into the suck zone. After beating Disgusting Skeleton I went back to talk to Saren Nightchant. After which I went back to talk to the crotchety old man who rewarded me with a card. I was then told to go to Ravenwood to do some garbage that I don't care about. Then I went to Old Town and talked to another man with a big spear. That man told me that there was some trouble on Triton Avenue that I had to go solve. Me, being a ten year old boy. I went into Triton Avenue and there was this kid with a name that I probably pronounced incorrectly. But before I could converse with him, he ran off. I killed some wooden men before finding him again. I then talked to Duncan Disgusting Water, who told me to go fight some big fish who could use electricity to get someone named Susie's wand. After collecting the wand out of sheer will, I gave it back to Duncan Disgusting Water. Then I had to fight big fancy men with big top hats to collect storm amulets. After doing so, I returned to Duncan Disgusting Water, who told me to go talk to Blad. Vlad told me his big wooden wheel wouldn't work, and I had to fix it because he was too lazy. So I had to go get cogs from off the street. After doing so, I then had to go blow up some old ladies that Then I talked to Vlad again, who told me to make the wheel work. Me, with my incredible knowledge of engineering, made it work on the first try. After talking to Duncan Disgusting Water again, I was told to go to Galvanos Tower to fight the Big Pumpkin. The fight was treacherous, but the big pumpkin eventually rotted. When I exited Galvanos Tower, Susie was waiting for me, who told me to meet her somewhere else to continue the conversation, instead of having the conversation where we already were. After going to the highest point of Triton Avenue, Susie told me to go all the way back to Ravenwood to talk to the frog. The big frog told me about the Tempest Nexus lightning machine that I was already near and told me to go turn it on, which I guess I could have done from the start. I turned on the Tempest Nexus and talked to Susie once more before returning to the kid I'm pretty sure I don't know the name of. After doing so, I reported back to Big Spear Boy in Old Town. Spearman told me that I had to go talk to Big Nose Idiot on Cyclops Lane. Big Nose Idiot told me to go fight Big Fat Green Men. 
After doing that, Big Nose Idiot told me to talk to Big Chin Man in Ravenwood. Big Chin Man said to talk to a guy in a robe shop for some reason. I talked to the robe man who just gave me Big Chin Man's laundry, and so I dirtied it on the way back to Big Chin Man's school. I was then told by Big Chin Man to talk to Old Crotchety Man. Crotchety Old Man literally just told me to talk to Big Chin Man again, so I basically just wasted my time. Big Chin Man told me to go with Big Nose Idiot and save Cyclops Lane. After talking to Big Nose Idiot, he told me to go fight Big One-Eyed Men. The Big-Eyed Man told me to go to the Dark Cave to free the children. Uh, out of context, that sounds awful, but good thing we both know what's going on. Oh, except I didn't know what was going on, because I was spamming through all the dialogue. After entering the Dark Cave, I killed a bunch of old dead men. The dead man said I could dispel every bubble on the streets. After I dispelled a bubble, a child popped out. Again, out of context, this sounds terrible, but again, we both know what's going on. In the last bubble, a girl named Alexa popped out, who informed me that I was doing what Big Nosed Idiot was supposed to do. I was very upset and went to go speak with him. After speaking with Big Nosed Idiot, he completely ignored what I said and told me to go fight Big Hairy Men in the street. After beating the Big Hairy Men, I was told to go talk to Romulus. Romulus told me that I had to go fight the Big Baddie, Achilles Big One-Eyed Blind Boy. The fight was very painstakingly annoying, but eventually I defeated him. After defeating him, I went to talk to Big Nosed Idiot. Finally, I went to go talk to the Big Spearman in Old Town once again. Big Spearman still can't solve any of his own problems and told me to go save Firecat Alley as well. In Firecat Alley, another Big Speared Boy told me to go destroy some wooden men in the street. After doing so, Big Spear Boy told me to talk to Lizzo. And no, not the Lizzo you're thinking of. Lizzo told me to go fight fire boys in the streets. Then I talked to a bald man named Shellis who told me to fight a different breed of fire boys. After completely demolishing the fire boys, Shellis told me to go to a hermit house in the middle of the road. The wicked witch told me to fight big magma men to get their magma. After doing so, I talked to the Wicked Witch again, who told me to go into the Dark Cave and fight dead men again. Then the dead men died. Uh, 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 um, uh, again, I, I guess, and uh, so, so I just decided to go talk to the Wicked Witch again. The Wicked Witch told me I had to go to the Prima Donna Tower, which is just, oh, which is just a fantastic name, isn't it? Upon entering Prima Donna's tower, I was greeted with a disgusting abomination of a woman. The fight was very painful to watch, not because I was doing bad, but because the woman was so ugly. After finally defeating her- Don't ever make that noise again. I went back to talk to the Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch said to go talk to some other random old crotchety lady in Old Town. <sighs> then I talked to that old lady and she said to go talk to the Wicked Witch again, so I'm like, am I just running around for no reason? I mean, I guess so. I made some garbage at the Wicked Witch's alchemy table and then went to talk to her again, despite the fact I could have done it from the alchemy table, because the alchemy table was five feet away from the Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch then told me to go whack the hell out of some fire boy with a wand. The fight was very treacherous, but eventually I landed the final blow on him. Then I went and talked to the Wicked Witch, who told me to go talk to Spear Boy, who then told me to go talk to Spear Man in Old Town once again. I was told to go talk to the crotchety old man, who told me to go talk to a big tree. I immediately assumed I was on acid because when I went to talk to the tree, it actually spoke back to me. The tree told me to go to some big old tower in Old Town. Inside of the tower, I had to fight a big red ghost, which I did with ease. After doing so, I then had to enter the haunted cave one final time and go fight literally death himself, who I swept off his feet in an instant. Uh, don't know why people are so afraid of death, he wasn't that hard. 
I then talked to some girl who told me to fight more pumpkin men in the street. After doing so, I went and talked to the crotchety old man who told me to scout out Nightside behind a waterfall. Behind the waterfall, there was the missing school of death, and I talked to disgusting, disgusting, gross boy. After doing so, I took more acid to go talk to the tree again, who said I was available to go in to Cracktopia. And that is where the stream ended. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you to Coach for editing it. I am so sorry, man. That was probably very uh, tedious to edit. I mean, we just cut a three and a half hour stream down to like 10 minutes or something like that. So I'm very sorry for that, but thank you for doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see the full experience, you can definitely go check out the live stream. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, let me know. I'll do another stream. Maybe you could catch that one, and then we will make another video just like this. Coach is probably sweating at the thought of that. So, Coach, I'm very sorry. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Coach, for editing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. That helped me out a lot. Subscribe to DK Yaxi and subscribe to Spellbound TGG and also join Discord link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.